What's up, you guys? Oh, I miss y'all so, so much. I am back filming, and today I wanted to show you two things. New things that I've been trying, and also the routine and order in which I place them on my face. Now, my skin has been changing so much now that I am like about to turn 30. So to preface this video, my skin type has always been oily combination. It's slowly turning into more combination sensitive. I've got an oily, oily T-zone with a thin, dry, dry skin on my cheeks and under eye and if I don't regulate my sebum my nose also gets dry in addition to being oily I have some slight hyperpigmentation appearing on my cheeks just little uh, brown freckles and dots and then also uh, just some uneven patches along my chin and then this is what my eczema dermatitis flare-ups look like they are very heavily severe around my eyes I can barely see out of them it's so painful it's almost like I get these reptilian dry patches all along my eyes and t-zone area and then I also got you know the regular large pores and puffy eye bags so I've been doing the Kanmari method in a lot of facets of my life and one of the things I've learned to really appreciate is my skin and the skincare process and just nurturing it so I really hope you guys enjoy um, these new skincare videos I'm sure you guys are experiencing a lot of similar things that I am and if I'm gonna be trying tons of products I might as well be sharing my experiences with you guys so I hope y'all enjoy I use the skincare process to really uh, meditate and zen out in the morning to prepare myself for my day so step one cleanse my cleanser in the morning I really love it to be a low lather very gentle thorough but balanced cleanser. I realized that when I did anything that was over stripping, it would make my skin really dry and not control the oil production underneath my makeup throughout the day. So the ones that I like are balm and oil based. My favorite balm right now is from Colleen Rothschild. I actually have a very in-depth review on my blog in case you guys want to read that. But I've been loving this radiant cleansing balm. It is seriously like a extremely luxurious experience especially in the morning when I do have the time I like to just give myself a nice facial massage it starts out as like a creamy thick um, kind of like buttery consistency and as you massage the opaque butter into your face it turns into a translucent movable oil it really just removes that top layer of grime while also replenishing and moisturizing the skin it smells like heaven it's just like a warm exotic bouquet of spices and clove and it's just really comforting and it's one thing that like I just like to treat myself in the morning and give myself a good old rub down and just awaken my face in this, my skin it does come with a muslin cloth so I like to use that whenever I can I rinse it under some warm water and kind of make a nice facial experience by pressing the heat into the face and then slowly removing the balm it actually has a little bit of a texture to the muslin cloth too so it gently exfoliates and I really like this formula because it does remove all the impurities from my pores without feeling like I stripped any of the natural oils at all it's fantastic all right so if I don't have the time to do that or I don't need some intense hydration <laughs> I also like to use the Kiehl's Midnight Recovery Botanical Cleansing Oil. This one has a pump dispenser and it's a lot more lightweight and fluid. If my skin is not needing deeper hydration, it's like pretty good, no breakouts, or if I'm like a time crunch, this is my go-to. As you can see, the liquid is super fast moving, so you really wanna get that right onto the skin and moving along. I would say it's good for light to medium grime. It's got a wonderful lavender scent and either of these uh, balm and oil Oils are great for also removing makeup at the end of the day too. All right, moving on to step two, it's time to tone. Toning is what's gonna get anything you missed off your face. My AM toner, I like it to be non-stripping, alcohol-free, and super balanced. My go-to one right now is from Origins. It's the Dr. Weil Mega Mushroom Relief Lotion. This one is specifically focused on um, calming and soothing. This stuff really is a godsend for whenever I have my red flare-ups or when I have like a very irritated red, um, greasy nose. I do a few drops of this onto a little cotton um, pad and wipe it all over my face it also is really great at helping me balance all of the sebum and don't forget you guys be sure to wipe along the hairline underneath the chin I also go like behind my ears my neck my chest I just do it as like a nice uh, refreshing wipe to get that canvas 
prepped for all of my moisturizing products. At night, I will use my Sun and Park Beauty Water for a more enzyme treatment, but in the morning, I like it to be as gentle as possible. Gentle, gentle touches. All right, moving on to step three, which is essence. I fell in love with essences as I research K-Beauty more and more. It is something that helps absorb any of your moisturizers and serums into your skin. And in the morning, I really love the Saturday Skin Daily Dew Essence Mist. This is a beautifying, hydrating mist in addition to being an essence. And if you're someone like me that is like, you know, on the go and doesn't want too much stuff on your face before your makeup, this is an amazing alternative. You've got that combination hybrid of a product that you can just um, do a few bursts on your face and you get that essence hydration but you don't have to worry about you know applying it perfectly it's just spray 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 and you're pretty much done you can also use this as a refreshing hydrating mist throughout the day after you put the makeup now after here I would normally put in a serum but I'm still trying to find a great daytime serum so after I do the sprays and enjoy the experience of the mist I go straight into my moisturizing hydration so step four I like to do my eye cream first what I look for is something that's super lightweight fast absorbing and an invisible finish. I do not like things that are chunky and sit there for a while because whenever I do my concealer, I really want it to be a seamless experience and not have to wait around all day and have, you know, kind of bad texture underneath the makeup. So I love the Belief Moisturizing Eye Balm. This is like the eye cream extension of their famous Aqua Balm creams and it is deliciously light and easy. I like to use my ring finger because it's got the most delicate pressure and I dot this along the um, under eye area and then also kind of do just a light massaging motion to get that all um, also on the upper eyebrow area too. This is a, one of the eye creams that hasn't been irritating. Um, my eczema patches um, has kind of helped it along with you know some CeraVe. So um, yes, sensitive, proven, at least for me. <laughs> After I apply that, it really just takes a couple seconds for it to really fully absorb, and then I can move on to the rest of the moisturizing for my face. Now in your early 20s, I did not care about this as much, but now that I'm getting older, I'm like, yes, it is about moisture and also SPF, you guys. All day, every day, SPF on my face. All right, so that did not rhyme. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, if I'm gonna be outside in intense sun or you know for longer periods of time, I like a higher SPF. My favorite right now is the Kiehl's Super Fluid UV Defense Sunscreen SPF 50. This stuff has no white cast. It's super lightweight. You can barely tell you have sunscreen on your face, and I really appreciate that it sits well under makeup too. A lot of sunscreens that I've tried for my face just get really oily and make me break out. Um, this one is just very uh, lightweight and fluid and just uh, delicious for oily combination skin. Second option is that if I'm gonna be staying in all day and really not go outside, um, I like to do this combo. The Colleen Rothschild Sheer Renewal Cream. This is an excellent cream for under makeup. It's got this like more semi-matte powdery finish to it. It also has the anti-aging ingredients that I really appreciate in skincare 24 seven. It's really focused on cell turnover to help with hyperpigmentation. It's also really breathable and traceless. I would definitely wear this by itself, but the only thing that I saw was missing was just um, basic SPF. I like to do at least 30 even though I'm indoors, so I found the perfect Playmate at Sephora by the luxury sun care company Kula. This is the full spectrum 360 sun silk drops SPF 30. You guys, this is so genius. I don't think I've ever seen anything like this. This is an organic vegan SPF in liquid form that you can wear alone or mixed in with your daily moisturizer. It has this cute little eyedropper. I use a generous amount of drops to make sure I cover my face, neck, and chest. And literally, you guys, this protects from UVA, UVB, IR, infrared, and also HEV, which is like the blue light that comes from technology. Never could I imagine something that was like organic and vegan and more on like the natural side be so effective 
effective and comprehensive in its coverage and protection. I love it because there's so many moisturizers that don't have SPF and now I can immediately turn them into something with some um, sun protection. It smells great, super light, moisturizing, invisible when mixed with other things and it hasn't caused me to break out at all. It wears nice by itself and again, you know, plays well with other moisturizers. I love it, best find, definitely check it out. All right guys, that does it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. Everything mentioned in today's video along with my Colleen Rothschild blog post review and my special promo code for you guys is down below in the description box. We also have the Sephora VIB Rouge sales going on so you can get some extra savings there. And I also really enjoyed making this video. So if you guys want some more routine or skincare beauty videos, let me know down below in the comments. I would really appreciate it. I love you guys and miss you so, so much. And I hope you have an amazing, blessed week out there. Bye! Mwah!